What's up you guys, Sean Allen here. Welcome to this very special video from right here at Universal Studios Hollywood. So, as you all know, I enjoy movies. In fact, I have a bachelor's degree in cinema and television arts, and I've done a lot of YouTube videos for the past six years, as you all know. Let's just say that there are some movies out there that people do enjoy that I don't like, where it's the exact opposite, where there's some movies where people don't like it, but I certainly enjoyed it. And one of them happens to be a Universal film, that is Waterworld. Right now, I am at the Waterworld stunt show location here at Universal Studios Hollywood in the park to do something really, really cool. So, as you all know, I'm a big fan of Waterworld. I've seen the stunt show here so many times, and I was super excited to finally own a copy of the theatrical version of Waterworld. Well, just within this last week, by the time we're recording this video, they actually released a brand new Blu-ray Special Edition combo pack. So I'm thinking to myself, what's so unique about this Special Edition? Well, it doesn't just include one movie, it actually includes three movies. Three different versions of Waterworld. More on that when I get the Special Edition DVD set. Actually, it's a Blu-ray, so let's go to the P.O. Box office and check it out. Got the package. I got it from the P.O. Box. I literally just left the post office. By the way, did you guys know I have a P.O. Box? That's right, I have a P.O. Box. If you guys want to see me viewer mail, the P.O. Box address is right there on your screen. You can also find it in the description of this video. Yes, I know it looks a little dirty, but it was in my P.O. Box for a couple of days. But anyways, yeah, I actually pulled off the sticker. You can probably tell that I pulled it off. So yeah, I'm going to open it right now since I can't really have a package inside Universal because they'll probably ask me to open it before I go into the park. So I'm going to open it here in the car and then we'll check it out there inside Waterworld. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm pulling it out. Ready? Three, two, one. Nice. That is awesome. That is really, really cool. Universal Aero Video. That is awesome. That is really cool. There are the DVDs right there. And I believe this is the book right here. This does come with a 64 page book. But more on that and more, a lot more, at Universal. Let's head back there to Waterworld. All right, you guys. Here it is. I'm now officially unveiling it here at Universal Studios Hollywood. It is a Universal release, and it's also done by Arrow Video, and this is just so cool. It is big, too. Kind of reminds me when I got the Rogue One Special Edition, like the collector's pack. There's some neat stuff in here, like I mentioned, not just the DVDs, but also the book. We're going to look at that in just a moment, but this thing is thick. Look at that. That's like a book right there. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and open this up right now. So I was looking around for a flat surface to work on and I found this trash can right here. Perfect. By the way, I had to put my gloves on. It is freezing out here, guys. Holy smokes, it's very windy out here too. Woo. Plus it might rain a little bit, so I gotta really, <laughs> I gotta really hurry this up. So here it is, the collector's edition of Waterworld. On the back here, it says it's a three disc limited edition. As we see here, we have disc one, which is the theatrical cut. That's the one I already have a version of on DVD. All these are Blu-ray, by the way, these are not DVDs. Disc two is the television cut, which is a limited edition exclusive. Now, what's interesting is that I actually have a version of this on tape, but it's been recorded off the television, so it's not a Blu-ray high definition in 1080p. I think it's like, oh, I don't know. It's a way less definition. It wasn't that great. But I was glad to get this version at 1080p. Then last but not least, the third version of the film is called the Ulysses Cut. And that's the high definition Blu-ray 1080p presentation of the extended European Ulysses Cut, which includes previously censored shots and dialogue. So I guess the next question you're going to ask is, is the Ulysses version rated? No, not like the theatrical version, which is PG-13. I don't think the TV cut is even rated as well, but what I do know is that it's PG-13. I know it says right here it's unrated, but still, it's still pretty cool. Now for the feature runs, the first theatrical cut is 135 minutes, the TV cut is 176 minutes, the Ulysses cut is actually two minutes longer than the TV cut. All right, let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. Okay, the wrapper has been removed. Here we go. So here we have the Blu-rays right here. Thankfully, it's not wrapped again. Let's open it up. Whoa. Oh, these are the cards. Oh, that's cool. I'll check those out in a second. So this is the theatrical version right here. It's upside down. I'll just turn it over like this. 
Blu-ray number two, once again upside down. This is the TV cut, and then this is the third version, the Ulysses cut. I'm actually really curious to see what this one's gonna be about. You may notice that they have the same picture on the CDs. That's okay. This is actually something I wanted to check out. These are the exclusive cards from the movie. Let's check these out. So here's the first one right here. That's when he's destroying the main battleship for the Deacon. Here's another one. That's a famous shot of Kevin Costner right there as the Mariner. This is when they're being attacked on the Atoll. Don't you feel sorry for him? That's when he's in his cage before they send them down to be recycled. And here's another one from the Atoll. This is when he's gathering up his supplies. Oh, that's his jar of dirt right there. So here's Helen and Enola. That's them on the Mariner's ship. Finally, we have a shot of the Deacon right there after he got his eye poked out. This is when he's giving his big speech saying that he knows the way to dry land because the kid has it tattooed on her back. Now I just realized that there's actually more photos on the back. Oh, it's actually just the, the poster, but without the, the title. I think they're all the same. Yeah, just the same. That's really cool. Deacon! So those are the collectible cards. On the back here, it has another image of the Mariner. If I can get this one out, I can show you. That's another DVD cover shot right there of Kevin Costner with Waterworld. So I'll go ahead and leave the production stills there in the Blu-ray case. Oh, this is actually a poster. They didn't tell me they gave me a poster. That is awesome. Wow, that is actually really cool. So that's the poster right there. One of the main posters. And on the back we have the same image you see on the Blu-ray case. But this is the main poster right here. This one right here. Last but not least, we have the book. This is 64 pages worth of photos and stuff here. Look at this. Looks like games, comic books, behind the scenes stuff. Look, even like, this is art that they created. Pre-production stuff. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. This is all what goes on in pre-production, guys. Man, this is so cool. There's the tattoo right there. Gives a little description of the movie and some of the history, visual effects. There's a lot of good stuff in here. The production design, I mean, I know the movie flopped, but the production design, like you can see how much detail is in these pre-production photos here and like drawings. They really went all out in some of this. This is unbelievable. Oh, I just realized, do they show the show Waterworld in this book? So out of all the things in here, they mention comic books, action figures, games. They don't mention the show in the book. That's a huge negative. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, it is a universal film and they do show the shows here. So it's like, how come it's not in here? Because they're talking about like merchandising for, you know, for Waterworld. I mean, it's not really merchandising, but still it's a stunt show. That's a big negative right there. Oopsie. <laughs> so all in all, this is actually a pretty neat product. I actually like what they did. Whoops, it's getting a little windy. <laughs> I like what they did with all this. I think they did an excellent job with presentation and really just with all the free stuff you get with this. I mean, it is a little expensive. This was like around 30 bucks. I mean, it does include three different versions of the movie. It gives you like six cards or production stills from the movie. It gives you a free poster and the 64 page book. So although I think that it's worth it. And if you guys are big fans of Waterworld, this is definitely one to add to your collection. This was just released this year in February, 2019. So if you really like the movie, go and get it. I saw it advertised on the websites for Target and Best Buy, but your best bets is Amazon. That's where I got this because I went to Target and to Best Buy. They were completely sold out. Like within a few days of them releasing this, they were gone, seriously. So I had to go to Amazon to get this. Go and check it out for yourself. And if you are big fans of the show, come see you right here at Universal Studios Hollywood. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out my other videos here on YouTube as well as my other channels, the Educational Series, the Disneyland Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. PO Box address is down below in the description of this video. If you can't see any of the links or my PO Box, be sure to click on the Show More button. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. In scene, as they say in Hollywood, technically, I'm at Waterworld. That, my friends, is a wrap.